I'd like to invite to the stage Dr. Mona Mohammadi from the Ricardo Otazo Lab in Medical Physics. Her title is Make Diffusion Weighted MRI Great Again. Hi everyone. The first time that I saw an MRI image, I was about 10 years old. I fell from the upper bunk of my bed. My parents took me to the hospital. Doctors took a, cup, a couple of images and what I saw was a couple of images exactly like what you see on the upper up left corner. Details that are appeared in MRI images are very captivating. Years later, I realized that in grad school, I realized that it is actually MRI superpower to bring different contrast with detailed structure in soft tissues. One way of producing contrast for MRI is to, through differentiating between the water molecules that can move freely and the ones that are stuck behind the barrier. The MRI has the ability to be able to kill the signal that is coming from the free water molecule and highlight the ones that are stuck inside the barrier, such as protective sheets of your nerve fiber or a cell membrane or a tumor. That's actually how we got such cool images of nerve fibers inside our brain because we were able to map the waters that are stuck inside them. In oncology, it has a lot of application. Not only we can we are able to highlight the tumors, we can also de get detailed detail characteristic information about the tumor, about the stage of the tumor, about the, if it is malignant or benign. Uh, but it is all very good and works very well if we are working with brain. As soon as we move to abdomen, it gets a little bit complicated because of the complexity of the structures that are inside your abdomen and physiological movement that you can't control. The, the image gets very noisy. The diffusion weighted image it provides a lot of information, but it, the information is behind the noise. So to compensate for that, radiologists get the same image over and over again. Because the signal is there and noise is random, they were able to, be, to amplify the signal through that method. But there, there is, then the, it comes the second problem, that because there are physiological movement that you can't control how much, no matter how much you stand still inside the MRI scanner, you can't control those, um, all those motions. Then it comes the misalignment between images. And then the, it would result into blurry images that it, it, it is good, but it, it doesn't provide accurate information that we want. My research focuses on developing training and optimizing deep neural network to be able to remove the noise from a noisy observation. What we do is that I train the network to learn what is the noisy observation. And then I will give it a noisy one, the image that it only has been acquired once. And then it gives me an image that doesn't have noise and it, the quality is as good as image that has been acquired maybe 16 times. Um, there is so much potential down this road to use AI to increase the efficiency and accuracy of uh, um, image acquisition, and I'm very hopeful and optimistic about that method.